Time now for the Pure Channel Lightning News on this Monday evening, October 10th, 2016. Good evening, everybody. I'm Peter Wiggins. I your reading the news at 5.15 p.m. on this Monday evening. And our top story at the 5.15 p.m. hour is Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump during the second presidential debate at Washington University in St. Louis on Sunday. Paul Ryan won't defend Donald Trump and Senator Trump and the QLP hardliners. Samsung is reporting hot production in the Galaxy Note 7 after several more phones set themselves on fire over the weekend. Phones that were themselves were called replacements for the original batch of the defective phones. Napa, California, Tiger Woods cited game issues rather than fiscal concern Monday for putting his return to compare the golf on hold. It's not only on the new brand. Workplace is launching with a new kind of press model based on Facebook style monthly active user metrics and some pretty big ambitions after picking up 1,000 organizations as customers while still in the street. Russian Turkey signed gas deals, state common ground and Syria as ties warm. U.S. Supreme Court Justice Wolf Bader Ginsburg finds Colin Kaepernick's national anthem protest in ridiculous hour. She says he is right in a right to protest. Hurricane Matthew was the worst natural disaster to strike the Caribbean nation of Haiti since the Europe cricket 2010. A U.S. Navy destroyer off the coast of Yemen came under attack on Sunday night in the Red Sea with two missiles fired into the same region where an inventory base. At least vessel was badly damaged by the rocket fire last week. Matthew's rough is finally over, but its devastation keeps growing and the rescue crews stay busy. The storm U.S. steps will come to 21 on Monday, but if North Carolina reported 11 deaths, Florida reported 4 and 3 each in South Carolina. In Georgia, MPs will not have a say on how Brexit negotiations are handled, but they could still be on. Vote on the final deal, government sources said. Rebecca Lewis, a four year old who do Saturday abduction from her Lakeland, Florida, hair and set off Amber Alerts in five states, has been found in the state. According to Monday, treatment of Tennessee Bureau of Investigation. Chicago teachers and officials in the nation's third largest school district still were holding contract negotiations Monday in hopes of a vernon strike that would affect 400,000 students. Hurricane Matthew is more than a Mira just called a post office cycle, but another storm is catching an attention of forecasters, which is Nicole. Donald Trump's campaign has fired its Virginia State Chairman after he took part in the protest in front of the Republican and National Committee headquarters on Monday. London, Apple watches are no longer allowed on cabinet meetings in the British government because they have one little hack, an official said Monday. Tokyo, Japan is implementing in stricter measures against Chinese fishing boats that may enter Japanese territorial waters near the disputed Senuka Islands. Yangon, Myanmar, nine police officers were killed in four wooden when a silent storm of police station and detective border cross control post in West Myanmar. So, the top U.S. diplomat in the United Nations said all political leverage would be used to arrive at a strong response to North Korea's 799 nuclear test. Moscow, supply base for the Russian Navy that touched Syria, will be expanded a permanent naval base. Russian Defense Minister Nikola Panakov said on Monday. Washington. The GOP may be completely good with it ever, but whatever, to keep supporting Donald Trump in the view of the events and remarks of the billionaire made in 2005 interview. In local news. Not in the leafy grounds of the Wheaton College game, Harvey Rivers very for the day on Monday as an independent movie set up a film that draws the unlikely connection between the inventor of the live detection test and comic heroine Wonder Woman. A small section of the college campus game a limit, off limits to all but filmmakers as actors dressed in 1940s garb. We are split of the fact based summer about Harvard Professor William Marston and the psychologist wife, Elizabeth, the pair collaborated in the invention of the live detection test and the creation of DC Comics Wonder Woman as postman for the Movie production will not give his name, declined to provide any title of Angel Webs the directed movie or any details about the cast. Have I am to be the film industry website give it out as Professor Boston and Wonder Woman and enlisted actress Luke Evans as Professor and Rebecca Call as his wife and then Bella Heathcote as all burned. As Postman said that the movie began production during the summer will continue about the film by November. Filmmakers will only schedule me on the Northern Campus Monday before moving on, he said he would not reveal other locations. Okay, I am to be the movie details in unusual life of Professor and Psychologist Marston who helped invent the modern life detector test and create Wonder Woman in 1941. Marston had a relationship with Byrne, who was a feminist idea that is helped inspire Wonder Woman. Atterbury trial date has been scheduled in the federal court in New York City for a uh, city woman who allegedly made less than an eight-year-old boy while chatting with a New York City police officer in a scrap video. Plainville, the threat is hidden in home and town while this called water showing up in parts of Plainville without officials that attributed to low water levels. Born in Massachusetts. A blaze apartment building has been displaced more than a dozen residents, caused $1 million in damage. 
that Cape Cod Times reported that an early morning fire at Canal View apartment started on one, but you, we didn't, you know, but spread quickly because of every wind. Fire officials say no one was injured, but that's a 50 foot section in the building. The roof had collapsed. About 25 firefighters from the Board of Fire Department and every agencies worked in exchange for fire, which started around midnight. One Rhode Island, Rhode Island man, a man who has squelched a record set by a son by taking the first prize of the pumpkin contest of 2261 five pound board. Donald Trump Twitter call of Governor Buffett. He probably didn't expect his response. The Trump Judge Mel Al Casino took his final bets on Monday and then filed bankruptcy more than it went to this troubled history. Shailene Woodley arrested for criminal trespass while protesting at the Dakota Access Pipeline. Washington BAE Citizens and Defense again work on a 10 year contract to provide combat system integration services for the British Royal Navy. Major test storm could soon hit Mars. Many scientists have predicted that climate change causes wildfires to increase in the future. And a new study just out on Monday demonstrates just how much it's already been making them worse. 2016 Nobel Prize in Physics have been awarded to David Tulas, Duncan Alden, and Michael Crossley, three theoretical physicists, while research and using an expected mathematical lens of topology to investigate phase of the matter. The Brooklyn Battery. Bristol Lung Cancer Setback puts rival Merck Driver Drug in the driver's seat. Breast cancer chemotherapy costs that vary by tens of thousands of dollars in the United States. Similar on the course of treatment, doctors still after the new study finds. Currently, he completed a PhD in journalism and communication at Carleton University. Herbert was a program manager of as how radio is getting teens, talking about mental health in Malaya and Tanzania. In only 29, one of the one polls predicted since June 1st as one of the two major party candidates during the least 50% of the vote in the head to head contest. Peter Children's time is 5.21 on this Monday evening, and it is time now for our sports report. The Boston Red Sox will have a game free against the Cleveland Indians game in the three LDS at 6.08 p.m. at Fenway Park as the Red Sox look to revert of elimination by winning the next three games. As Sox and two games and under this best of five series. And Washington Nationals in Game Number Three, but NLDS leading the Los Angeles Dodgers four to one. The Pittsburgh Pens will open the 2016-17 season in the Stanley Cup title defense on Thursday night against the hated Washington Capitals at PPJ Pittsburgh Arena, but they'll be doing it without Sidney Crosby, who is out with a concussion. Four big team ten, four big team ten teams: Ohio State, Michigan, Wisconsin, and Nebraska are in the top ten of the latest AP Top 25 poll. And Chip Kelly, a bow at 49, is not your entire offense, not just quarterbacks. Peter Challenger's on 522 on this. Monday evening, and it's time now for a traffic and transit report. Baby! Let's tell you how many people are flying through the southbound delays. It's able train and now what? Red line and trains appear to minor delays today. Both ways between JFK, UMass, and North Quincy. Come mid rail. Fairmont train, 781. 7.15 p.m. from substation to cancel today. Passenger to economy by MBTA shuttle bus. Vermont train 7.82 to 8, 6, 8 p.m. in minus cancel today. Passenger to be accompanied by MBTA shuttle bus. Please board inbound whistle and trains and outbound farm from Wizard. Fireman by Wellesley Farms until 7.30 p.m. And please board on outbound whistle and trains and inbound farm from Wizard. Wellesley Farms by train station until 7.30 p.m. Cable train 296 is canceled today. All generally passengers can take the MBTA bus 136 bar and a red and deep board at 6.55 p.m. And Cable train 294 is canceled today. All alternative day passengers can take MTA bus 136 to Reading Depot at 5.50 p.m. And Able Line train 293 p.m. North Station is canceled today. And Sister Train 219 p.m. up on the route to Haverhill. Providence train 821 4.30 p.m. outbound is operating at 1020 minutes behind schedule between Route 120 and Wickford Junction to Amtrak traffic. And Promenade Street, 826, 4 p.m. and by the offer to 1020 Miss Fiasco between Edinburgh and South Station. Okay, look at highways and byways of New England. Let's study off around the Fenway Park area where Mass Packing in East Bound side. It is slow from the Fenway Park for the way out to Cruise Tunnel. Quick line Avenue and Wilson Street are slow go. So if you're gonna go to the game to see if the Red Sox can keep their season alive, you have to take the public transportation instead of the Driving my car. 
All right, take a look at the highways and byways of New England, Connecticut. 95 and a stop outside back to New Haven all the way out to West Haven. 95 and a north outside back to 287 all the way out to Fairfield. 95 and a stop outside back to Brentford on the East Haven. 95 and a north outside back to New East Haven. Merritt Parkway East outside back to Greenwich all the way out to Bridgeport. Merritt Parkway West outside is back to from West Haven all the way out to Norwalk. Merritt Parkway West outside is back to from the Meriden all the way to Hampton. A4 East outside is back to Denbury all the way to Newtown, Connecticut. And A4 East outside is back to for the Waterbury stretch. A4, both ends is backed up from 91 to 384 in East Sarford and A4, West Pine side is backed up from Hartford to West Sarford. 91 is Southbound side is backed up from Whistle to the A4, Hartford Connecticut. 91, both ends backed up from the A4, then it's South Hartford. 2. 91 is Southbound side is backed up from the Northampton stretch. 91 is Southbound side is backed up from Trickery all the way up to Eggermom. Mass Packet in East Pine side is backed up from Palmer to Charlton and Auburn. Mass Packet with West Pine side is stopping out from 45 and Westport all the way up to 290 in Auburn. Mass back in the knee span side. It is backed up from Natick all the way out to the Newton corner. 95 to southbound side is back in Route 1 in Sharon all the way out to 152 in North Alabama. 24 to southbound side is backed up from 95 out in. Made a money with Route 140 in Taunton. Route 44 westbound side of Little Swamp. Route 105 out in Plymouth. 120 in the southbound side. It is backed up from 95 in Canton all the way out to the Route 20 in Randolph. Route 120 is. Northbound side, it's a little slow from the split all the way out to 28 in Randolph. Route 3 on the northbound side, it's backed up from Hanover all the way out to Turby Street and Hingham. Southern Expressway, both ends back in the mass back all the way out to the Dorchester. 120 is southbound side, it's backed up from Peabody all the way out to Waltham Route 20, 129 on the northbound side, it's backed up from Burlington all the way out to Route 93. 120 is southbound, southbound side, it's backed up from Haverhill all the way out to Westford. 93 is southbound side, it's backed up from Lawrence after 495. Up in New Hampshire, 95 on the southbound side of this logo from from Wells, Maine, all the way at the Hampton, New Hampshire. Main turn back southbound side of Little Sarp to 295 of Port, Maine. 93 to the southbound side back to the Route 101 in Manchester, all the way at the Durian, New Hampshire. Every turn back southbound side back to Manchester, and then after New Hampshire. 93 to the southbound side back to the Latin, all the way at the Bow, New Hampshire. 89 to the southbound side of Little Sarp, Route 93 in Bow, New Hampshire. 89 to the southbound side of Little Sarp, Wilson. Vermont, 89. Slow both fence after the Canadian border up in Vermont. 91 is the southbound side of Lowe's after the Canadian border up in Vermont. Interstate East is slow both fence around Champlain, New York, and all the way 59. The northbound side of Lowe's so just before that. Southern Quebec headed towards Montreal and all the way 55. Slow both fence and Southern Quebec headed around the area in Vermont. Interstate East is the southbound side of Lowe's and Colony. And New York State Thruway is a Lowe's and Interstate A7 Anomaly. Peter Child News on 527 on this Monday evening, and it's come out for a weather report. Our latest on Trump's home. Nicole, center location, 26.3, the north, 6 miles, but further to the west. Max Detain was at 6 miles on moving north at 6 miles an hour. Public advisory, Hurricane Watch issued for Bermuda. The Bermuda Weather Service is issued a Hurricane Watch for Bermuda. Hurricane watch would affect by Bermuda. A hurricane watch means that hurricane conditions are possible when in water and watch is typically issued 48 hours before anticipated first occurrence of the Charleston of force winds at conditions that make outside preparations not difficult or dangerous. For some information specific the area, please monitor the product is issued by local and national meteorological service at 5 p.m. Center and top zone Nickel was located in United to 26.3 to north, 9 to 6 miles far to the west. Nickel is moving toward the north near 6 miles an hour, so northwestward. The northwestern motion is expected by late Tuesday fall by turn toward the north by Wednesday. The maps are saying winds are rain near six miles and higher gas and so stream this broadcast and Nicole expected to reach hurricane straight on Tuesday. Charleston on board force winds at hours up to one six miles from the center, estimated minutes set the pressure nine ninety two mil hours, twenty nine point three inches. Surf swells are surging in the cold should be increased on premier during the next couple of days. These swells will actually create dangerous surf conditions and whip currents. Please refer for products by initial by the Bermuda Web Reserves for additional information. Hurricane conditions are possible postponed Bermuda by Wednesday night. And day one tonight, cross survivors are day two percent Tuesday for Sunday, cross survivors. Cross survivors remain expected from 2 a.m. to 9 a.m. Eastern day on time on Tuesday. Location most of the tree is 7 New England and temperatures in the middle of the 30s and time in between 2 and 9 a.m. Today, impacts cross expected sensitive out where plants may be killed if it's left uncovered. All right, seven day forecast so goes like this. For tonight, patch about patch across after 4 a.m. was close to cover at 34 degrees. Not for about 5 to 9 miles out for Tuesday. Patch routes before 80 miles, sets come at 63 degrees. Don't know about 5 miles coming northeast in the afternoon to that. Park routes about 39 degrees. Common for Wednesday. Most sets come at 66 degrees. A lot of rebel wind. With that, patch routes before 10 p.m. Then patch routes after 2 a.m. Most guys come about 
47 degrees calm wind. For Thursday, part about between 7 a.m. and 9 a.m. was Putty, sunny podcast about 6 a.m. about 46 degrees. Friday, sunny most goods go about 6 a.m. about 37 degrees. Saturday, sunny most goods go about 59 about 38 degrees. Sunday, mostly sunny podcast about 6 degrees about 47 degrees. And for Monday, put the sky about 6 a.m. degrees. Currently not near, it is fair skies, and we have a temperature of. 55 degrees and humidity up 50%. And that is going to be it for the Peter Channel evening news on this October 10th, 2016. On Monday evening, I'm pretty sure for good evening and goodbye. Do not see you at 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock, we'll have a good evening and go Red Sox!